Nowadays, every time you fly, you can offset your emissions. If you travel, you can offset your emissions. If you buy products, you can plant trees. But I don't think people would want to be investing their own money if they thought what they were doing is just paying for monoculture plantations to be grown. It's all about making sure that when you're planting trees, you're doing it the right way and you're not destroying another ecosystem just for the sake of net zero. Si les responsables du projet Grande Muraille Verte avaient imaginé seulement une plantation d'arbres, ça n'allait pas aboutir. Parce qu'un arbre, ça occupe de la place et si ça sert à rien, ben, les gens du coin ne vont pas s'y intéresser. We also need to think about the longevity of those trees. Who's going to look after them in the long term? Are they going to survive after five years? Or are people going to come and they're going to be cut down? Are they going to be wiped out by fires? Il y a un enjeu qui est de taille, c'est de pouvoir quantifier, bien préciser la quantité de carbone qui est stockée dans ces forêts-là. Le temps de la nature et le temps des arbres, notamment, c'est pas le temps humain. On n'a aucun moyen de l'accélérer. Je crois que le mieux, c'est de laisser la forêt travailler.